Trojan Horse Named after the wooden horse from Greek mythology, a Trojan horse is a type of malware that disguises itself as legitimate software to trick users into installing it. Once installed, it can perform various malicious actions, such as stealing sensitive information or providing attackers with unauthorized access to the system. Worms Worms are self-replicating malware that spread across networks without requiring user intervention. They exploit vulnerabilities in software or systems to infect other computers, often causing network congestion and performance issues. Ransomware Ransomware is a type of malware that encrypts files or locks the entire system, rendering it inaccessible to the user. Attackers then demand payment, usually in cryptocurrency, in exchange for providing the decryption key or unlocking the system. Spyware Spyware is a type of malware designed to secretly monitor and gather information about a user's activities on their computer or device. This information can include keystrokes, web browsing history, and personal data, which is then sent to third parties without the user's consent. Adware Adware is software that displays unwanted advertisements on a user's computer or device. It often comes bundled with legitimate software and can redirect web browser searches to advertising websites resulting in a degraded user experience. Rootkit A rootkit is a type of malicious software that is designed to conceal itself or other malicious programs on a computer or system. It typically provides attackers with unauthorized access to the system, allowing them to carry out various malicious activities without being detected. Keylogger Keyloggers are a type of spyware that records the keystrokes typed by a user on their computer or device. This information can include passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive data, which is then sent to attackers for exploitation. Botnets A botnet is a network of infected computers or devices that are controlled remotely by attackers. These compromised devices, known as bots, are typically used to carry out various malicious activities, such as DDoS attacks, spamming, and spreading malware. Logic bombs Logic bombs are segments of malicious code that are triggered by specific conditions, such as a particular date or event. Once triggered, they can perform various harmful actions, such as deleting files or disrupting system functionality. File Infector Virus A file infector virus is a type of malware that infects executable files on a computer or device. When an infected file is executed, the virus can replicate itself and spread to other files, potentially causing damage or data loss. Macrovirus Macroviruses are a type of malware that infects documents containing macros, such as those created in Microsoft Word or Excel. When the infected document is opened, the virus can execute its malicious code, potentially causing harm to the system or spreading to other documents. Boot Sector Virus a boot sector virus is a type of malware that infects the boot sector of storage devices, such as hard drives or USB drives. When an infected device is booted up, the virus is loaded into memory, allowing it to execute and potentially cause damage to the system. Polymorphic virus A polymorphic virus is a type of malware that can change its appearance or code structure to evade detection by antivirus software. This makes it difficult for security programs to identify and remove the virus, allowing it to spread and cause harm to infected systems. Multipartite virus Multipartite viruses are a type of malware that infects both executable files and the boot sector of a computer's storage device. By infecting multiple parts of the system, they can be more difficult to detect and remove. Browser hijacker a browser hijacker is a type of malware that modifies web browser settings without the user's consent. It often redirects web searches to advertising websites or displays unwanted advertisements, compromising the user's browsing experience. Dropper A dropper is a type of malware that installs and executes additional malicious software onto a victim's computer or device. It typically disguises itself as a legitimate file or program to trick users into running it, allowing the malware to be deployed onto the system. Backdoor A backdoor is a hidden entry point into a computer system that allows attackers to bypass normal authentication procedures and gain unauthorized access. Backdoors are often installed by malware and provide attackers with remote control over the compromised system. 
Exploit. An exploit is a piece of software or code that takes advantage of vulnerabilities or weaknesses in software, systems, or networks to gain unauthorized access or perform malicious actions. Exploits can be used by attackers to carry out various types of cyber attacks. Armored Virus. An armored virus is a type of malware that uses encryption and other techniques to make it difficult for antivirus software to detect and analyze. By protecting itself from detection, the virus can continue to spread and infect systems without being detected. Stealth Virus. A stealth virus is a type of malware that actively conceals its presence and activities on an infected system to avoid detection by antivirus software. Stealth viruses often employ techniques such as code manipulation or rootkit functionality to remain hidden. Time Bomb. A time bomb is a type of malware that is programmed to activate at a specific time or date. Once triggered, it can execute malicious actions, such as deleting files or disrupting system functionality. Fork Bomb. A fork bomb is a type of malware that consumes system resources, such as memory or processing power, to the point of causing system instability or failure. Fork bombs are often used in denial of service attacks to overwhelm a system and render it unusable. Phishing. Phishing is a type of cyber attack that involves tricking users into revealing sensitive information, such as passwords or credit card numbers, by posing as a legitimate entity in electronic communication. Phishing attacks are typically carried out through email, social media, or messaging platforms. Man in the middle. A man in the middle attack is a form of cyber attack where an attacker intercepts and potentially alters communication between two parties without their knowledge. This allows the attacker to eavesdrop on sensitive information or manipulate the communication for malicious purposes. Scareware. Scareware is a type of malware that falsely claims to detect threats on a user's computer or device in order to scare them into purchasing fake antivirus software or other unnecessary security products. Scareware often uses alarming messages or pop-ups to convince users to take action. Cryptojacking. Cryptojacking is a type of cyber attack where an attacker hijacks a victim's computer processing power without their consent to mine cryptocurrencies. The attacker injects malicious code into websites, ads, or software, which then executes in the background of the victim's device, using its resources to mine cryptocurrency for the attacker. Cross-site scripting. Cross-site scripting is a vulnerability found in web applications that allows attackers to inject malicious scripts into web pages viewed by other users. These scripts can steal session cookies, redirect users to malicious websites, or perform other unauthorized actions compromising the security of the affected website and its users. Remote Access Trojan. A remote access Trojan is a type of malware that provides attackers with remote access and control over a victim's computer or device. Once installed, a rat allows attackers to perform various malicious activities, such as stealing sensitive information, monitoring user activity, or launching further attacks on other systems. Fake Antivirus. Fake antivirus, also known as rogue security software or scareware, is a type of malware that masquerades as legitimate antivirus software. It typically tricks users into believing their computer is infected with viruses or malware and prompts them to purchase or download fake antivirus software to remove the supposed threats. In reality, the fake antivirus software is ineffective or may even install additional malware onto the victim's system. Remember to stay vigilant and keep your software up to date to mitigate the risk of falling victim to cyber attacks. Stay safe and secure online. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content.